now. Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, taking a stand against police brutality. Tonight, demonstrators gathered in front of the Duval County Courthouse as a Jacksonville mother says she continues fighting for justice in her son's case. It's been a long 60 days. The longest 60 days of my life. We've never been away from my son as long. We've never been separated as long. And that was the mother of Laken Woods, whose arrest sparked outrage on social media in September. Cell phone video showed him being hit several times and left with a bloody face. The sheriff's office investigated. They released body camera video of the incident. Sheriff TK Waters believes the officers in this case acted within protocol. But a group of local activists disagrees and says this is a part of a bigger issue with JSO. News for Jackson reporter Ariel Schiller attended their rally tonight. Ariel. Justice for Lakia! Justice for Lakia! Just after 5 p.m. Thursday, more than 20 people gathered to rally with the Jacksonville Community Action Committee in support of Laken Woods and in an effort to stop excessive force. No justice! No peace! Laken Woods was arrested back in September for running from police during a traffic stop. Body camera video showed officers tasing and hitting him. The state attorney's office downgraded or dropped his charges. He was facing two counts of armed trafficking and resisting an officer with violence. The two armed trafficking charges were dropped and the resisting officer with violence charge was downgraded to resisting without violence. We spoke with his mother, Natisha, about the development. I feel really good about the charges that's been dropped on Lacan because I felt the whole time when TK said that he wanted to paint the picture and false narrative of Lacan, I was like God was going to show what was really going to happen and that's what he did. We spoke with the Jacksonville Community Action Committee Executive Director Michael Sampson at the rally. The focus was on police brutality, including LeKen's case, and called for State Attorney Melissa Nelson to hold cops accountable and for the city to adopt a public safety committee. They also want JSO to disband the gang unit. I know the gang unit, um, you're talking about some of the problems that they've had and you guys are calling for that unit to be disbanded. Can you kind of talk a little bit about why that is? No, for sure. The gang unit was created in response to deal with uh, violent crime. What we've seen uh, particularly is the uh, old theory of broken windows policing in which they essentially um, target individuals for smaller crimes to catch the big ones. What does that translate to? It, it translates to a... Um, and increased mistrust between the community and law enforcement. I want justice for my son. I want justice for every young person, every person in the city that's been through this with this gang task force. We got to get rid of them. Need- Woods' mother says she's waiting on the call to pick Lakin up from the Leon County Jail, where he'll return to being on probation until they push to get the rest of his charges dropped. We've never been away from my son as long. We've never been separated as long. So I'm just ready for him to come home so he can hug me, hug his baby, hug his dad, his girlfriend, and we could just get back to the stuff that we were supposed to be doing before this incident happened. In Jacksonville, Ariel Schiller, Channel 4, The Local Station. We reached out to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office about the changes with Woods' charges. We have not yet heard back.